It's always interesting to try to figure out what actually gets picked up on the mic. But anyway, we are on another Monday. <clears throat> June. Six months through the year, depending on where you are in the world. Four months into COVID, other places, three, you know, two, whatever. That's not what this video is about. This video is about a state. Another state in the country that I live in. That uh, we're doing alphabetically. So if you remember last week, we did New York. What comes after New York? While a North uh, state does. There's a couple of North states. And we're doing one of them today. If you remember or know, please don't speak out. Let other people do it on their own. I'll give them 10 seconds. Okay, I just did that in my head. I don't know if it was actually 10 seconds or not, but... If you didn't pay attention to what the title of the video was, it's uh, North Carolina. And I'm going to take my sip, as I should have done before, in that 10 seconds, but I didn't. Anyway, North Carolina. Wonderful state of North Carolina. Um, I was surprised when I saw this. Uh, its nickname being the Tar Heel State, which... Um, what was the origins of that? Oh, origins of the nickname trace back to North Carolina's prominence in the mid 18th and 19th century as a producer of turpentine, tar, and other materials in the state's plentiful pine trees. I see what it is. Interesting. It's also the nickname of North Carolina University, one of the more famous and or prominent schools in the state and country. A lot of people know about North Carolina University of North Carolina, UNC. Um, Michael Jordan went to UNC. Uh, their arrivals, which are Duke University, the other really big um, university in the country, in the state as well. Uh, this is what the root sign looks like. I don't know if I'm actually going to find Route 581 here. Did actually see, interestingly enough, that apparently... North Carolina has the second largest amount of interstate in the country. Seems weird, but here we go. We're going to take a quick look at the state. Here it is on the Atlantic coast. Central Atlantic, if you want to call it. you got Virginia in the north. Tennessee to the west. Atlanta, not Atlanta, Georgia and South Carolina share its south border in this big giant pond. Over here is on the east. Its capital is Raleigh. Raleigh. It's a weird word. Named after another British colon settler, I believe, Sir something Raleigh. Anyway, it is the 12th state admitted to the Union on November 11th, 1789. I was a bit surprised that it was the 12th. Uh, if you ask me to try to do the original 13 colonies, I can tell you Delaware was the first. And then I can give you all the others, but probably not in numerical order. 581. I don't know if I'm actually going to find that, but I'll take a look. There's very little um, information. Yeah, see, I got to go way in to find this. So we're going to try actually looking on the road here itself to see if we can't locate where it is. The state itself, it is... In area, it's over 53,000 square miles. 28th in rank, in size. Uh, what's the population here? It's oh, just over 10, almost 10 and a half million people, which is 9th, the 15th most dense state in the country. And its median household income is just about 52,000, almost 53, which is 39th in the uh, country. Uh, the tallest mountain is Mount Mitchell, which is 6,684 feet, which I believe is the 
tallest mountain on the east. In the east, that's not the Rockies. Like uh, the, the Appalachian Mountains, I believe Mount Mitchell is the tallest one. 31 seconds. I have not been able to find where we are, so I am going to have to make a guess. Uh, what, are we, what is this? Is this tobacco? I've actually never seen, or if I had seen, not paid attention to uh, ooh, 581. Holy shit. I saw it right at the end there. And I think it's a long enough route that I'm not going to see. Oh, 581 is north and south. Okay. I'm just going to click there. And maybe hit home. Oh, ran out of time. I was very surprised I found that road when I did. Crazy. Anyway, if you want to talk about the history of North Carolina, it as it's a broken record, honestly, when it comes to most other, if not all, uh, U.S. states. You know, Native Americans lived here. The colonists came. They either coexisted or didn't. And eventually, one won out over the other. John Shepard, commissioner. Um, after colonization, there was development, and with most of the estates, at least probably, I mean, there is the Mason-Dixon line that they talk about, which is the border between Pennsylvania and Maryland, uh, that kind of delineated between north and south. Uh, as you see, North Carolina is kind of down here below that line. They did have a lot of plantations because of tobacco, cotton, other uh, cash crops at the time. They used a slave labor. What do we got here? Blue Ridge Parkway ahead. Blue Ridge Mountains, I believe, are in the east. I mean, the west. I don't know if I'm actually going to find exactly where it is, but I think we're over in this part. Let's see, we've got National Park Service. Okay, they use a different colored uh, sign that I'm used to. It's kind of a more of an orange. Like usually the brown, or I think either that yellow writing that you saw in the New York um, signs, or they're white. What do we got here? One lane road ahead. A lot of road construction here. Interesting. Uh, I want to see if I can't see what this sign says for the route we're on. That doesn't. It just probably says an adopt a highway thing. Um, did see a little factoid that um, ooh, we're on an interstate potentially. I'm going to get over here and see if I can't get on. Uh, this does not look like a on ramp. We're on the Blue Ridge Parkway. Well, um, I don't know what route that is, route number. Oh, hopefully I can see it. But I think this is a beautiful, like, drive to be on. Roanoke is a bit of a ways away. Let's see if I can't see that. Roanoke, I know that's a name. I believe Roanoke. Yeah, Roanoke's in Virginia. So we're, like... Down here, I believe. Julian Price Memorial Park. 189 miles from Roanoke. Why? Why would you list that? So are we like over here? Um I don't know. I don't know what route the Blue Ridge Mountain would be. Is it, I don't think it's 77, but uh, I'm gonna see if maybe I can't get a uh Oh boy, we no no get me get me out of here. Get me out of here. I got a minute left. I'm gonna try to get back to that road. And I'll just remember to look at that little anecdote when we get to the uh when the um this round's over. Blowing rock and boon. Boon. Boonville. I'm not seeing blowing rock though. I feel we're in the north here. Just kind of looking to see if I can't see uh, Blowing Rock or Boone. Hmm. I'm going to see. Maybe that sign probably just says, like, it's the, yeah, yeah, Blue Ridge Parkway is this way. Blowing Rock or Boone. That is the border. There's Boone. 
Ah. Uh, I did I I clicked but I guess it didn't register. That sucks. That sucks. I guess 221 is the uh is the uh Blue Ridge. That sucks. I clicked in time. You saw I don't know if you heard me click, but I did right at the end there. Anyway, I want to talk about this really quick. Um All right, here we go. So this is a couple of paragraphs but I'll try to make this quick. Again, if you're not aware, at least back, or at least the political system we have in the U.S. now with the Republicans and Democrats back in the uh, post-Civil War days, there was a flip-flop where uh, you can kind of consider what Republicans are now to be what Democrats are. They flopped, flip-flop, you could call it. Well, anyway. Let's see, where am I going to start this? Let's see. All right. Democrats were elected to the legislature in the government's office. This is post-Civil War, we'll say, around, uh, looks around 1874. At least this is the build-up to it. But the populace attracted voters displeased with them in uh, 1896. A biracial populist Republican fusionist coalition gained the governor's office and passed laws that would extend the voting franchise to blacks and poor whites because there was voting restrictions at the time. Um, Democrats regained control of the legislature in 1896 and passed laws to impose Jim Crow. Again, you can look up Jim Crow. I know I've mentioned it before in previous episodes. And regal, racial segregation of public facilities. Voters of North Carolina's second congressional district elected a total of four African American congressmen through the these years of the late 19th century. Political tensions ran so high that a small group of white Democrats in 1898 planned to take over Wilmington government if their candidates were not elected. So, pouting and being upset that they didn't get their way. In Wilmington, an insurrection of 1898, more than 1,500 white men attacked. The black newspaper and neighborhood killed numerous men and ran off with a white Republican mayor and alderman. They installed their own people and elected Alfred M. Waddell as mayor in the only coup d'etat in U.S. history. Crazy. And then in 1899, state legislature passed a new constitution requirements for poll tax and literacy tests for voter registration which disenfranchised most black Africans and black Americans in the state. Exclusion from voting had wide effects, meant blacks could not serve in juries or any local office. Blah, blah. And it, it, it's, it's a bit of a theme, at least. Oh, wrong button. At least not in the South, but with a lot of the country now. That still goes on to this day, as if you've paid attention to any of the News in the U.S. has a blade. All right, this is a, another highway. Clearly, I mean, I, you don't see many houses or boulevards set up this way. These nice little rumble strips on the side that... Uh, they're everywhere now. They're on a lot of, like, uh, side roads now. And I'm not, I guess, complaining, but... They are very loud. And they do a lot of vibrating. So that's, you know, their whole point is to make sure if you're, like, passing out, these things vibrate and wake you up. Prefer, if I had to prefer, ooh, I think maybe this mileage marker would actually say the highway we're on, and it doesn't. It's mile 395. Um, I've driven through North Carolina once when I was uh, traveling with a friend by car to Myrtle Beach in South uh, Carolina that... I'll probably mention again when we get to South Carolina. Why is this dusty right here? What what was back there? I don't know. Um, let's see. Do a little quick stroll down. I'm still hoping to find anything. But this is one long, boring strip of road, and you can understand why people would need uh, rubble strips there to... Uh, Make sure they don't fall asleep, because this is not exciting at all, driving in a straight goddamn line forever. With no uh, entrance or exit sign anywhere, although this may help. Cool.
Cove City and Trenton. I don't know where that is. I see Kinston, but that is not Trenton or Cove City. So we continue on. Try to find that exit ramp. Get off it. What? No. Get me over there. Get off that exit ramp to look at the entrance to find out what freaking highway this is. Uh, I don't think that says anything of use. Here's the exit for, we're in Craven County. So if you got a Craven, you know what to do. All right, let's see. Coast City and Trenton are that way. All right, we're on west on, east on Route 70. All right. There's Route 70. Now you need to find 41. 70 uh, seems to be right there. Does it go anywhere else? I don't see it. All right, 70 and 41. So here's 41. So uh, we were heading east on it. So we're like... We're on a super long straightaway here. So I'm going to go back because I think I can triangulate this a bit better. Let's see what this sign says again. We're going to get back. Funky cat. Never get you back to the woods. Now I... Uh, excuse me. Redneck ways and... Uh, ooh. Oh. Change is gonna do you good. That, but why did I start singing Elton John? I I do not know, and I'm very sorry. I just got in my head. It's it's a strange Sunday here. Anyway, let me take a drink. I think I got it. This seems to be a very long strip of road with a bit of a turn. So I think I think this is it. Um, anything other quick to mention about the state? Um, ooh, got very close. Still 50 points off, apparently. Oh, also, before I forget, there is the, um, this, the state of North Carolina is where the Wright brothers flew their, uh, plane, being the first things to fly, on Kitty Hawk, which I believe is over here. Uh, you've also got the Outer Banks. There's apparently also a bunch of wild horses that live out on these. And it's always weird when hurricanes hit because one of the first things you hear about when they're done is like, oh, the horses lived. Like, that's weird, but I don't know. They somehow do it. The state itself, very flat over here. Very mountainous over here, though. Ooh, now we've got... Um... Hillview? Hillview, okay. Um... Anything else quick to mention about the state? I don't know. Snow Hill, Bird Sanctuary. Hmm. Um, there isn't much, really, I can mention about the place. Being there only one time driving through. It's very well known for its colleges and universities. As I said before, there is UNC Chapel Hill, which is the full name of the University of North Carolina. There's also Duke University. There's uh, NC State, North Carolina State University. There is Wake Forest University where, God, now I can't remember the name of the guy who's on the San Antonio Spurs. He retired maybe eight years ago at this point. Christ, that was a while ago. He played with David Robinson. Uh, God, he was from Guam? God, why can't I remember? Uh, I need to look this up. Sorry, this is going to drive me fucking nuts. Spur. Wake Forest. Spurs. Tim Duncan. Holy shit, why couldn't I remember that? I It was not in my head. 258. All right, anyway, back to this. <laughs> uh, my brain was not having it. So we're at the junction of 258. I don't know if I'm actually going to see that number on here, but for some reason I feel like I can 
see these numbers better than I can in other states. Maybe because I can probably fit the majority of the state on one screen as I scan around and look for 258, which I cannot find. Oh, 258, here we go. This is a long, oh, we're in Snow Hill. Let's hit home and see. We're on, what was that, Hillview? Let's see what the name of this road is, because I bet you. Lakeside, all right. Let's zoom in. Look for a lakeside. You don't have a name on you. Harper, Harper, Lasseter, Greenbridge, West Green Street. Lakeside, where? Where are you, Lakeside? Well, okay, apparently I can't find that. King Old Boulevard? Oh, King Gold Boulevard, which is this. Okay, well, um, we're going to go up here to see what this bank says. Handy Mart. Okay, we're going to look for a Handy Mart. Is this a speedway? It's a subway. So a Handy Mart and a McDonald's. McDonald's, Handy Mart. So we're like, yeah, we're, we're hitting home. And this is probably, that's Hillview. Lakeside. Okay, so we're we're maybe right there. Uh, I wanna I wanna really nail this. I think we're actually. Oh, I was about to click just a smidge more to get us closer. Uh, anyway, the state. Well, um, North Carolina, oh, get me back on track here. Anyway, sports. There's a couple of sports teams in North Carolina. You've got the Carolina Panthers for the uh, in the NFL. You've got the uh, Charlotte Hornets of the NBA. An unnamed franchise of MLS. What the fuck's that mean? Oh, it's a future Major League Soccer expansion franchise that I expected to be in play in 2021. They should rename. They should call it the. I don't know if they can call the Tar Heels because of uh, copyright infringement with the college. Anyway, why can't I go forward there? Get me on this road. 96 Ardsley. I don't know if I'm actually going to find this place because we're in like that suburbia purgatory here where I can't find the way out of here. Southwest. I'm going to go this way because that looks potentially promising. Uh, there's no baseball team. Uh, there's some NASCAR tracks. You got Charlotte Motor Speedway. Apparently also got the NASCAR Hall of Fame. What else we got here? We got some golf. Uh, music. Here's the music thing. Uh, there's quite a few music people. According to Wikipedia here. Uh, a lot of jazz musicians. You got John Coltrane, which whenever we have parties at the uh, with friends, I always just go, well, well we got to put it on John Coltrane because it's adult music for adult parties. We just have jazz playing in the background. Okay, I finally see a road with two painted lines on it, so that at least lets me know that I'm on a potentially bigger road with more information on it to at least let me know where the hell I am. No, don't mind me, cars. I'm going to stand here for a bit till I find out where the fuck we are. This looks like a hospital. Yeah, we're in a hospital here. A very big hospital. Wake Forest. All right, where the hell's Wake Forest? Is it in Greensboro? I don't know where Wake Forest is. Which is a problem. Is it Winston-Salem? Yeah, North Carolina here. 
man, this is this is the problem. I don't know where the hell Wake Forest is. Is it Durham? Durham Technical. Duke. Duke. Gugglehoff. That's a weird name. Is it in Raleigh? Is it? Wake County. That doesn't help me. This is a problem. 45 seconds. I don't know where the hell this is. Okay. Um, think on this. Think, 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 think. Let's... Wake Forest University School of Medicine. Okay, yeah. Okay, all right, all right. East on Interstate 40. All right, where is Interstate 40? Here is Interstate 40. 25 seconds left. 158, 421. All right. Um, I'm going to click in here. Uh, here. To actually, I'm going to put us in Winston's tail. There's 421 and 158, so we're like up here. So I'm going to say we were like there. Okay. Okay. It is in Winston-Salem. It's also... I think there's a lot of tobacco and stuff there. Yeah, Winston-Salem. Cigarettes. Uh, anyway, music people. You've got John Coltrane, Thelonious Monk, Billy Taylor, Woody Shaw, Lou Donaldson, and Mac Roach, Tal Farrer, Albert Jimmy, and Chrissy Heath. Dina Simone and Billy Strayham. I've maybe heard of three of those names. What else we got here? Ben's Fold. Ben Fold's five, I mean. Big fan of that band and the guy and his solo stuff. Um, the autobiography of Reinhold Metzler is a really good album. Go check that out. British band Pink Floyd is named in part after Chapel Hill bluesman Floyd Castle. Did not know that. James Taylor grew up around Chapel Hill. Let's see here. I don't recognize any of those names. Future Islands I've heard of. I like their, uh, apparently they have the most watched video online from Dave Letterman's show. There's a song they play that's crazy on there. The guy really likes putting on a live show. Go check that one out. I think it's called Waiting for You. Or you can just look up Future Islands. It'll probably be the first thing you see. Randy Travis, Ryan Adams, the Avid Brothers, Erosion of Conformity Between the Buried and Me. I've heard of those names, never really listened to them. I know Porter Robinson, not a fan, most of his stuff, but uh, apparently North Carolina is home to more American Idols, but I've never seen American Idol ever in my life. Uh... See, the baby and Jay Kohler from North Carolina. I've heard of those names, but that's really it. Summary is done. And that's the end of the state. Well, didn't really even talk about the visuals on the, on, on, on the screen as I was going through here. It just, it wasn't hard to find the things. Thankfully, things were very well marked. I got lucky with the random things we pulled from here, apparently. Um, interesting state. It's got everything. If you want water, you got it there. You want mountains, you got it over here. If you want hurricanes, it's everywhere. If you want hot as fuck, it's super hot and humid here. Um, I would maybe go visit it. They got good food and music, but nah, I don't want to live there. But that's just me. Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. If you like this, like, favorite, comment, subscribe. And if you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, suggestions, observations, hint, tit, tips, hints, any of that stuff, go ahead and put them in the comments below and I will read them and get back to you one day at a time. And we'll uh, see you on Wednesday. Have a good one.